Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about Kyle Hamilton. I'm your host Coach Evans of Sip Tally Films and uh, Kyle Hamilton is a 6'3", I think 215 or so pound safety from um, Notre Dame. Um, elite, elite athlete. Let's get into his game tape. Roll the intro. So welcome back. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that like button if you like the content and subscribe for more content coming in the near future. Let's go ahead and get started on Kyle Hamilton, uh, safety from Notre Dame. Hamilton's here. Let me find my mouse so I can highlight it. There he is right there, 14. 6'3", 215-ish, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I have to look it up. I'll put it in the thumbnail. Physicality. First thing you notice off of him. Watch what he does to this young fella right here. They're going to try to run a little bubble. Like he's going to block and he's going to sit there for like a little key screen. He's going to really manhandle this dude right here. And if they throw this key screen, he's going to jump on it. But they don't throw it. Look, look at him press him out. The receivers went nowhere. And now, if they throw that key screen, he's just going to th throw this kid out of the way and go make that tackle. They throw a screen somewhere else, and he still throw him out the way. Physicality by a big kid. I love it. I love it. So, looking at this second clip, you need a sure tackle. And that's what he's about to show you. A nice, sure, open field tackle at one-on-one. -on -one. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, that's a quarterback such and such and such. If you believe this is any old average quarterback, Go look up Jordan Travis's highlights and what he did with Florida State this year. Slippery. It might as well be a running back running the ball. But again, here's our guy, Kyle. Kind of over here, my bad. Kind of helping guard that trip set out there. Trying to diagnose the play. Looking at the quarterback. Still, he can't leave because he got he to gotta respect that three versus three out there. You got to respect it. Now, he, he did enough to where he can't throw that, that, that bubble screen back there. So now it's one-on-one. -on -one. Now, that's, it's one-on-one -on -one with 13 and 14. 13 is Jordan Travis. 14 is Kyle Hamilton. Watch this secure tackle. And I might show you the, the, the back screen so we can see is this, if, if this is technique sound. Looks like it slowed down. Went too far. Players mess up. Near leg, near shoulder. Near leg, near shoulder. Wrap up. It might be it might be a, a great uh, technique sound tackle. Let's look at it from the back view. One on one. Look at that form. Look at that form. Look at that form. Near leg, near shoulder, wrap up. Ain't that ain't that big bump and stuff that you know we we see a lot of times. He's going down. All right, very next play. They're in um cover one. Hamilton's here, and his assignment is this guy right here. That's his assignment. Shuffle, shuffle with him. I'm going to try to take him across the field. In phase, still. In phase, still. Quarterback scrambling. Now, when the quarterback scrambles, my eye got to stay there. My eyes got to stay there. Because if I, if I look at the quarterback, he could be anywhere. So, great discipline to keep your eyes on your guy. Especially when the play starts to break down. Now, he gets up under him because he knows he has hell over the top. He knows he, he knows he got this guy right there. So look at him up under him in the trail technique. So the only way this cat can get the ball, he got to throw a, a big arcing ball, and he got to get it over Kyle Hamilton, which is 6'3", and in front of this cat, uh, whoever that is. He throws it anyway. Pick. Because he's underneath it. He throws it short, and that, that trail underneath technique comes in handy. That trail underneath technique comes in handy. We can get how much of a view we can get from this side. 
We definitely can get the catch on it. There he is right there. Hands on him. Now he's looking back at the QB now, but both of them are. The receiver and the, and the Hamilton looking back at the QB. Now his eyes go to his guy because he can't feel him anymore. I didn't realize that. His hands is on him. He can look back because he know where he at. His hands still on him. He know where he at. Oh, his hand got away from him. I got to put my eyes on him. I got to put my eyes on him. Now he underneath him. I don't know why he throws that ball. Ball skills. What? Hold on. Told your ex wag. Told, look at Told your ex wag. From a DB. I ain't realized that at first. Let me get these feet down. Dead leg them. Both feet in. And a cheek. Let's go the other way, Notre Dame. All right, remember, everything is not all 100% positive on this. So here's our guy playing center field. Straight center field. This is what you want in the free safety. A center fielder that can, you know, play numbers to numbers, so to speak. Let's check this out. They're going to run a slot fade with this guy right here. This kid right here, they run a slot fade. What, what you would love to see is 14 go track this ball and make a play on it. Not necessarily intercept it, but get involved in the play. And this is where I question how fast he really is. Watch this. All right, ball's thrown now. He's in the middle of the field. And it's really tough because this guy's out the numbers now. So I kind of take that back some. The ball's thrown right now. He's still sitting in the – he's dead sitting in the middle of the field. And this guy's outside the numbers already. So that's tough. But if you think about it, look where he caught the ball at. So I, I, I retract my statement. When that kid catches the ball, Hamilton is on the numbers. So I take that back. This is not a negative play. This is this does show decent range. I showed range without unintentionally. I was looking for a play that showed his range and thought this was going to be a negative play, but it's not. He's in the middle of the field. The only, only thing I would say is because Travis is looking that way, his back pedal may should have took him that way a little bit. Now he's looking off. He's looking straight down the middle. Now he turns his head. So he's played it right. He played it right. Um, you know, once I see the slow motion, I can say that. He played it right. Now, ball's out. He's still in the middle of the field, the ball out. When the ball gets caught there, he's on top of the number. So that ain't bad. That really ain't bad by, by him. That's, that's a lot of range right there. You got these corners got to be able to protect from the numbers down. They got to be. If your if your if your uh middle of the field free safety got you from numbers to numbers, you gotta be able to protect from numbers to the to the to the head. I mean to the out of bounds line. Gotta be. So that with that being said, please, 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 and I'm gonna end this video on this because when I saw this, I was like, oh my god. Again, you remember the last play they just got him, he was a middle of the field safety, and they got him uh, you know, they ran a little slot fade and tried to get him the ball. So now he's on this hash. He's on this hash. I'm gonna just let it roll and speak for itself. He picked that bleep, little bleep ball off. Look at this. Not only is he not in the middle of the field, he owned the other hash when this play started. Uh, if I thought about questioning his range, there is no question again. He's owned the hash when the ball snapped. The opposite hash. They run the little, they, he pump fakes this little Slant route to number 88. Oh, no, he pumped fake the, this route and gets number five. So now, look, he's still on the other hash for the most part. Now, he comes wide open. He's in the middle of the field. Ball's thrown. He's a little bit past the middle of the field, close to the hash. That's still. Look at all. Look at this this ground. The man gets all the way over here to pick this ball. Look at that that and he's Jordan's throwing this ball now. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Oh my god. Look at that range. 
Hey, he's the best safety. Well, <laughs> he's the first safety I looked at, but it's, there he is right there. Good. I'm, I'm glad. That, look at the view. Look where he is right now. Middle of the field. Middle of the field. This is Hamilton right here. Right. That's Hamilton. Ball's thrown. He's on the hash. Ball thrown. He's on the hash. Look, he closed. Nuts. <laughs> hey, what's understood don't need to be said, man. This Coach Evans, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Kyle Hamilton, 6'3", 2-something, whatever the weight is, will be in a thumbnail. <sighs> oh, my goodness. This, he's going to be a baller. If, if nothing bad happens to him, he's going to be a baller. And please don't let him run 4-4-something at the combine. He may be top 10. If he if he, if he mess around and get a 4-3 at the combine, he definitely going top 10. But Kyle Hamilton, the first safety I've done, obviously on my big boy, he'll be safety number one because, well, because of his film, but because he's the first safety I've done this year anyway. So, hey, I appreciate you guys for coming through. Thank you for everybody to subscribe to the Patreon. That is the PayPal. That is the Cash App. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you guys soon. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.